Hello, uh, this is Jason Ball with uh, WP GraphQL and I want to show uh, an update to WP GraphQL for advanced custom fields that I'm working on. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right to it. So advanced custom fields, uh, when you create a new field group with advanced custom fields, um, you give it a field group name, we'll call this like test field group. And then of course you create a field I'm just gonna call test. So we have a field group with a field. Then you can set these location rules um, to where you want your field group to show in the admin uh, when you're editing content in WordPress. So if we say post type is equal to post, uh, then it will show up on the post post type for editors to interact with. Then if we scroll down, uh, currently we have two fields. Show in GraphQL, you can either say yes or no. Uh, you want to show it in GraphQL or you do not want to show uh, this field group in GraphQL. And then you have a GraphQL field name. Right now, this is a required field, even if you don't want to show the field group in GraphQL. So that's kind of a mistake. Uh, so that's one thing we're gonna fix is making this required or not based on showing GraphQL. And then the other thing is, when you say you wanna show this in GraphQL, you're not really sure where in GraphQL it's gonna show. Um, currently, the behavior is to interpret these location rules and apply them to the GraphQL schema. So some rules like this are fairly straightforward, like post type is equal to post. Okay, that's that's fairly easy to understand where that might show up in the GraphQL schema. It will show up on the post post type in the schema. If we get to some more interesting location rules, such as this, I want to show this field group if the post status is equal to publish. What does that mean? Because posts can be published. Uh, I have all these different custom post types here. These can all be published or not published. You know, they can all be draft, they can all be published. So this is a very nuanced rule. Where does this go in the schema? The answer currently is it goes nowhere. So you as a user could edit this field in the admin, but cannot query it in GraphQL. And that's a problem. Um, and then there's other rules like page template is equal to about us. A very common rule for people to use, they'll create a page template in WordPress, they'll assign a field group to that template. Where does it show in GraphQL? Today, it shows nowhere. That's a problem, right? So there's rules like this that uh, you just don't know where in the GraphQL schema it's gonna show up. So I've been working on a feature, I'm gonna change branches locally and then refresh. So. I just checked out a new branch of a feature I'm working on to fix this. So we're gonna go add a new field group in ACF. And what you'll see here now is there's a new box. Uh, the settings for GraphQL are no longer part of the larger settings box. They're now part of their own settings group. So when I'm creating a new field group, I'm just gonna call this like ACF test field group. Okay, just for a test example. Um, and we're just going to add another test field just uh, because every field group needs a field. So uh, one thing you're going to notice now, so shown GraphQL, there's no longer the required GraphQL field name. Shown GraphQL is default to false. That was already the case. Um, if you opt in and you want to show this field group in GraphQL, you can say yes. And now the GraphQL field name, it is a required field if shown GraphQL is checked to yes. Now we default the field name to the the field group name, but we uh, camel case it to be more GraphQL friendly. Of course, if you don't like that, you can change it to whatever you want. It is required, but we try to default uh, something friendly for you, but you can change it. And now we still are going to map, by default we're gonna map the location rules as best we can, but there's gonna be a UI now, right? So we can see now that uh, these are the GraphQL types that your field group is gonna show on in the schema based on your rules. So if I change this to post type is equal to page and we look back down here, this updates, right? It says this field group, sorry, didn't mean to zoom. It says this field group is gonna show on the page post type in the GraphQL schema. If I change it to post, it's gonna change back to post. If I say post type is equal to post or post type is equal to page, we'll see it updates to page and post, right? So now in the admin, 
I can edit this field group in two different post types and in the GraphQL schema, I'll be able to interact with it on both of those types. And now some more nuanced rules. Um, like I talked about before, if we set post status as a rule, post status is equal to publish. Well, ACF is gonna add this to all post types in the WordPress admin. And so GraphQL is gonna do the same. So this is gonna be available on all post types in, in the schema. And, uh, and then let's say there's some impossible states you can get into like post type is equal to post. If we say show this field group if post type is equal to post and taxonomy is equal to category, well that, that can't happen, right? An object cannot be a taxonomy term and a post, right? So if we come down here, we'll see this is not going to show in the GraphQL schema. Um, so, if, and it's not gonna show in your admin anywhere either. So you're very likely not gonna have this rule, but we try and interpret that as best we can and try to avoid that. Um, some rules you'll be happy to see that are supported now. If we come to post template, uh, default template, you can see it's actually assigned to the default template in the schema now. So this is very highly requested feature post template equal to about us. You can see now it's assigned to the about us template. So now uh, I can assign a field group to be edited on one specific template and I can query it in GraphQL on that specific template. So this is a, a, a very highly requested feature. If I want to, let's say, let's say I had a rule that was, you know, I could edit a field group on the post post type and maybe we were going through like a data migration or something like that. And uh, some of the content was still associated with that post type, but I didn't want editors to edit it anymore. Maybe I want to change it in the admin to the page post type, but I still want users to be able to query that data from the post post type and the page post type. Well, in that case, this automatic mapping of, of uh the schema or the location rules to the schema is not gonna work. So I can check this box and it'll give me control now and I can override the rules. So I can say, you know what? Thanks for trying to map these rules for me, but I actually have something else in mind. I want this field group to show only on the page post type in the WordPress admin, but I want it to show on the page and post post type in the GraphQL schema. So I have, I have manual control now to, to say, you know what, I don't wanna trust the automatic mapping, I want find control. So you have that control. And then if you save, if you save this fields, um, then, then the page and post post type will be what's used in the schema instead of the automatic mapping. If I decide to reset this, uh, if I turn this off, it will reset to what my location rules are. And then if I update that, our schema will only show this field group on the page post type. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to cover that. And if we go to um, like the tools here and look, uh, this was the ACF test field group. We go to generate PHP. Oh no. Oh, GraphQL types is gonna be empty because the checkbox was disabled. Let's go back to ACF test field group and we will turn that on. We will check a couple of these. We will update. Go back to tools, ACF test field group, generate PHP. And there we go. Uh, you'll see that GraphQL types are mapped in here. So if we, if we um, set the manual mapping um, to true, then then it'll export here. Anytime, if you're configuring in code, if you define an array of types you want to show when you're doing this in code, it will it will override the location rules. Um, but if you turn that off in your field group, so if we go back to ACF test field group. If you turn this off, uh, then then the behavior will automatically map to trying to translate the location rules to the schema. Um, and you'll see that output here. If we update and go back to the code that's generated, the GraphQL, um, oh, 
generate PHP, the yeah, the GraphQL types is blank, and so that if this is blank, it's gonna fall back to uh, the location rules as the behavior. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm excited for this. It's getting really close to being released, uh, but just want to get this video out to get uh, some feedback. Uh, thanks for watching.